viewers, how the devil are you? Today I'm taking another look at my waste oil burner powered water heater and I've got the thing cracking along and uh, getting it nice and warm to give me a shower. I'll explain to you how it's done. The setup of this waste oil powered water heater is very uh, simple and easy. As you can see I've got the burner there and that's blowing into a domestic water heater that has had the gas ring removed. All I've got is a 12 volt blower out of the car there and a battery to power it. The oil feed you can see coming in and that's just from a suspended tank which gives it a gravity feed. You can see where the oil uh, is dribbled into the inlet pipe on the burner and it's simply blown into the burner by the force of the air from the blower. There's no jets or metering or anything like that. I'll just control the oil flow with the valve on the oil tank. From there the burner just fires the heat up through the centre of the heater as it would normally if it was gas fired. You can see here the uh, water inlet. I've got a valve on that further down the hose and the hot water comes out the top. You can see also for the whining safety zealots that know better than everybody else, the original uh, safety valve is still in place, not that it would probably do much good because as you can see there, the outlet hose is just open and going into that bucket. I've got a thermometer there so I'll take some temperature readings and show you what they are to get an idea of the effectiveness of the heater as we go. I'm going to start the burner by using gas and injecting that where the oil would normally go. I'll uh, throw a bit of uh, newspaper in the burner uh, which is a light and I've already put probably a quarter of a cup of oil in the burner. Once the uh, oil gets hot from the gas and the burner, yeah, I'll be able to tell by the colour of the flame and the burning oil will keep going while I disconnect the gas and then reinsert the oil line and go from there. It's uh, a pretty easy thing. I've, I've done it quite a few times now and I get a light, you know, probably within a couple of minutes at worst, even with a big burner like this, and it works every time. So not much problem there. Okay, move the position of the tripod. Looks like we're about there, so I'll turn off the oil, the air, the gas rather, and add the oil. Still got the oil burning. And as you can see, we're now running on oil. And as you can see, nothing coming out the top of the uh, water heater, bar some leftover warm air mirages. Here's another view of the setup, shows you the whole thing. The battery on the right powering the blower, the oil going in there which is being blown into the burner, the burner itself running very nicely now, and the water heater. Uh, as you can see I'm still running the water through, probably about the same rate as you'd have a, a very fast shower, but uh, going by the temperature gauge it seems to be keeping up quite nicely. I'm not quite sure what the heat output is at this stage. I'm guessing it's probably only low, probably around 10 kilowatts. But just looking up at the, uh, the heater there, the thing was only rated at less than half of that. So it would be very efficient as far as the heat up times went. 
there's a pretty cool shot showing how the burner shoots the flame right up the center of the water heater much the same as it would do with gas only we're pumping a lot more heat into the thing this way and of course we're doing it for free now here's an example of something a lot of people don't understand with oil burners that is smoking but it's not smoking because it's too rich, it's actually smoking because it's too lean. I may just be able to reach up and just add a bit of fuel here and you'll see that it'll flare up and it should also clear up. There we go, so there's, there's the example of that. I've actually increased the flame but made the, um, the smoke output uh, diminish. It's not perfectly clear but it's sure getting there. So that's one of the things with burners. If they, um, they're not getting enough fuel, they can smoke because the oil is not vaporizing properly. They will also smoke when they're too rich, but the trick is to recognize which one. If you cut the fuel when they're too lean, you're just gonna get more smoke and it'll go out, and vice versa, of course. So there's a little thing for those of you interested in running these things and a bit of an idea of uh, how to control them. You can see now it is getting a little bit too much and it's starting to smoke again. So that's the, uh, the whole gamut of what to look for. As you can see, it's a very large flame now when it's smoking and before it was a small one. Well, every one of my videos needs a safety tip to stop the stupid from doing something stupid. And today's tip is don't make these things boil by running them half an hour and then take a shower directly under it. You'll burn your stupid skin off. Then you'll be in hospital for months and the rest of us intelligent people that have a job and pay taxes will be trying to get you stuck back together again. And frankly, it's not worth it. So try and use your head and if you can't just don't even bother with this there you go viewers uh, 92 degrees that's after the water has come out through the length of the hose and sitting in a bucket so pretty easy to see that that uh, would be in the boiler in the heater at uh, well and truly boiling point uh, took about uh, 20 minutes 21 and a half minutes to get to that so for 120 liters of water that's uh, quite a bit of heat going into it not quite sure what the kilowatt uh, conversion is I'd say it's something round uh, about uh, probably 20 kilowatts maybe a little bit more but certainly it's a lot more than you're going to get out of any uh, normal domestic heater be it gas or electric fired there you go there's some uh, clear evidence that the water in the heater is boiling we're getting steam coming out that hose is not restricted it's completely open so obviously the water is boiling um, in the heater and it is venting I, uh, I will shut it off now but that's only taken about 21 and a half minutes to get there so hope you enjoyed this video found it useful if so, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, share this around. Thanks again for watching.